Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video on what I meant by a winter burner for the Trangia. What I was really talking about was this winter attachment. I kind of called it by the wrong name. It's a winter attachment that goes on the Trangia to help you light this in sub-freezing uh, temperatures. It's just a little cup that attaches onto the bottom of the burner. When you're putting it away, you clip it up to that. But you put a little bit of alcohol on here, clip it to the bottom of the burner, light it, and this heats up the body to heat up your alcohol to make vapors, which is where the Trangia burner has a little bit of problems in the winter because it needs vapors to come out of the jets. So you have to, usually in freezing weather, you have to heat this up. Now this is a, a, a Trangia burner that doesn't have the grooves on it for the winter attachment. So I guess it's just a summer burner. Uh, I got a message from Wandering Beast. Cool name. Wandering said, wondering if you couldn't just add a wick wrap to the outside to heat up the stove body. Um, I... It sounds like a good idea, but there's a couple of little problems that I have with it. And I thought maybe I'd do this quick video to kind of explain it rather than trying to write it out. Wandering is talking about wicking like this. This is fiberglass wicking. People use it for all kinds of stuff. Some stoves and burners. They do use this wrapped around the outside to help heat up the burner. You would just take it like this and wrap it around the trangia like so as wide or as narrow as what you wanted now I have a couple of problems with this um, when you put alcohol on this part and light it one the fiberglass wicking acts as an insulator to keep the heat from getting to the body of the trangia the flames will be out here but not so much heat going into this plus the flames will be just coming out and going up so they don't get anywhere near to this part of the body to warm it up. So you have that. Uh, I don't know what I say. I've seen lots of people using this kind of stuff, this fiberglass wicking, to insulate pots so that they could pick them up off the fire without burning their hands. So that's one thing with this. Another thing is if you've wrapped your trangia like this, you won't have the clearance to be able to install it into most stands. I don't know if you can see that there, but see how it's it's already jammed up against the the stand. And a lot of them are even tighter than this. So you'd have that problem that the extra thickness here makes it so you can't use most stands. Now it just turns out that the West Wind stand is one of the only stands that I know of that accepts the Trangia with the winter attachment on it. It's tall enough here to let it go in. So I was just using this because I still had this out. Um, another example of where the wicking on the outside might not help. Oh, now it's going to get breezy. Hope you can hear me. The uh, wicking on the outside acting like an insulator. It's the same thing as when we put this carbon felt on the inside to make for a nicer flame for certain things we want to try to do but if you've noticed with this it slows down the burner on heating up because even though you have a flame on the inside here this wicking on the inside acts as an insulator and slows down the heating up of the body so there are certain times when this comes in handy, especially when you're using a simmer ring. It gives a much nicer flame. So I use it for that. But for starting up the burner, this isn't a good situation. So uh, that doesn't work. Let's see, what else did I have here? Oh, there's another thing that you could try. I'll leave a link down below to a video that Colorado Camper did where he did a Sphia 123 winter modification that could possibly be used on this. On the Trangia you have this trough going around. Now normally you put some alcohol in there and you try to heat it up that way. The tr a lot of times the trough just isn't big enough to hold enough alcohol 
to warm up the thing. So what uh, Colorado Camper did was on his Svea was he took some carbon felt and wrapped it around the bottom of the burner of the Svea. That way it held more alcohol and would heat up the, the Svea burner. You could do the same thing with this. You could make a small ring of carbon felt to be laid here and put alcohol on that and help warm up the body. You could try that, but I don't know. I still like the idea of heating up the burner from the bottom. Now in my case I showed you that I just use, let's use this for an example. I would just have the burner in there like that and I slide a just a can lid with maybe a small piece of carbon felt on it. Put some alcohol on that, slide it under the burner, light it, and you know, very quickly it'll heat up the whole thing and get you going. So this is something that costs you practically nothing. And that's what I've done on a lot of my things where I didn't have the winter attachment. So, you, I, you know, it could go both ways here. But I thank Wandering Beast for his suggestion. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.